Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so glad that you're here today. And on today's video, we are gonna be doing something that you guys have actually been asking us to do for quite some time. And that is the husband tag. I can't remember if we've actually ever done one of these or not, but even if we did, it's about time for a brand new one. So why don't we get started? All right, I am going to ask the first question. So PJ, what is my favorite time of the day? Your favorite time of day is in the morning, right when you wake up, when you're having your coffee. He's right. He's very right about that. That's also my favorite time of day. I like having that time to relax and chill with the fur babies and drink my coffee and be cozy. Yes. All right. So handing the phone to PJ, PJ, you pick a question and you can ask me. What was the first car I had? That's easy. Cause you talk about it all the time. It was a Toyota Tacoma. Yes. A silver one. 2002. 2002. Yeah. I know. I love that. He's had like five Tacomas. He really, really loves that car. Most people like don't ever want to get their first car, but you've continuously gotten different versions of your first car. So yeah. good for you. All right, moving on. Hmm. I'm going to force him to answer this one. What are the, the best perks of being married to me? Hmm. The best perks of being married to you would be <laughs> that... Why are you getting uncomfortable? You are so kind and loving. Okay. <laughs> and you have a lot of useless knowledge about movies. How is that a perk? Because I can be like, what movie were they in? If we're watching something, I'll be like, oh, they were on blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine. I'll take that. I'll take what I can get. Ooh, this is a good and funny one. What is the most embarrassing moment in our marriage? Oh my gosh. The most embarrassing? Mm -hmm. Like does, between the two of us? Because I can think of one embarrassing moment that we experienced together in front of a bunch of people. What was that? That was whenever we emceed an event. Oh yeah. And we were I would cringing. Agree that, I would agree that that was the shared most embarrassing moment. Yeah. We were invited to do this MC event for like a good cause. An amazing cause, that's the thing. And we're just not, I mean, to be an MC, you need to be funny and witty and we're just not cut up for entertaining a live crowd. Yeah. And no. That was not, it wasn't, it was not a good experience. It wasn't. It was the most, I would say the most embarrassing experience that we've shared together. What do you think is the most in our marriage then? That one. Oh, that one? Yeah. I know that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, definitely. Oof. No, it's your turn. Okay, my turn. Here's a good one, which you should know. What cheers me up? Um, cupcakes. <laughs> That's true. Cupcakes always cheer me up. I don't think that was the answer you were looking for, but cupcakes do cheer you up. What were you thinking? Uh, no, that cheers me up. Besides like food, um, maybe just like comforting words. That always cheers me up. Words of affirmation. Yes, exactly. That's my love language. Okay, here you go. My turn. What is something you have tried but will never do again? Emceeing an event. Okay, I'm kidding. Something, I know. Something I know. Um, something I've tried that I'll never try again. All right, I would say scraping a popcorn ceiling. I had to scrape. Well, actually, we both did mm -hmm. in our last house that we were renovating. It had ugly, nasty popcorn ceilings, and that was a horrible, horrible experience. I vowed actually to never do it again, and I hope I never have to. Yes. I want to find a really juicy one. What was your first impression of me? My very first impression of you, you're hard to read in person, I think. Like you're hard to, I normally like really can read someone when I meet them and some of your humor and everything is a little bit <laughs> different. And everything? Yeah. Like what do you mean? It took me a while to get like used to like, get used to his sense of humor and whatnot. So I'll say that. <laughs> that was your first impression of me that it took a while? Well, my first impression was that you were weird. 
But then I got to know you, and I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I'm gonna take that as a. Well, your first compliment. impression of me was that I was uh, hot. Like, no, was that I was just like stupid and didn't have a personality. Yeah, that you didn't have a personality. That's because I thought you were just so cute. Mm-hmm. What is my favorite part of your body? Um, I mean, that would be... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, that would be, I don't know, You well you tell me, or you, have, you used to tell me my stomach? No, you were right the first time. Oh my God. But you can't say that on here, so. Uh, my stomach. No. Oh. You can't say. Oh my, okay, number he two. You can't really say what my favorite part is. Number two is my stomach. We're gonna keep it PG. PJ. All right. I know, and it wouldn't, number two would not be your stomach. Oh, I mean, I know it's, it's not that great, but I thought that you always said that. <laughs> um, I always joke with Oh, you. my chest. Yeah. He's boobies. He likes to squeeze them. <laughs> so I already asked you what cheers me up, but what pisses me off? When somebody does not agree with your- Oh my gosh. Whatever. Like if you have the, a thought, you expect everyone to agree with it. You're very stubborn too. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's a fun, kind of a fun one. If you could eliminate one memory from my brain, what would that be and why? How about the one time where your sister threw cow poop in your mouth? Or do you like that memory? I don't like that memory. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it, it is a funny story though. It's so disgusting. when I was uh, younger, we grew up on a farm and I put mud on my sister's shirt while she was laying in the creek. So it wasn't like her shirt wasn't getting dirty already. And for some reason she got upset about that and she chased me down, scooped up cow poop, opened my mouth and shoved it in. That happened and that would be a memory I would like to eliminate. That's so gross. All right, your turn. Okay. If you could choose your forever age, what age would you choose and why? Um, you know, honestly, I've really enjoyed my 30s and I have felt more comfortable with my body, I think. I would say maybe 30. 30 is a good age. I think you're old enough to like appreciate the things that you've got going yeah. for you and you've like worked through the things that you're not satisfied with and like, so I'd say 30. 30 was a good age. I like that. All right, your turn. Okay, here's a good one. What is one thing that you like about yourself? I like, um, I like that I care about people. And I like that you usually see the positive in whatever you're doing. Aw, thanks, yeah. I try. Try to be positive. Day. Okay. Okay, well no, I, let's flip that. What is one thing that you like about yourself? I, I like my work ethic. Mm -hmm. I'm very driven when it comes to things that I want, even if everybody else is saying that it is impossible. I like a challenge and I like to work hard to get what I want. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna say too about you. I like how hard you work. It's inspiring. Thanks, thank you. All right, your turn to ask me now. That was easy. What is the worst job you've ever had? Um, I mean, my first job comes to mind and that was at Little Caesars. I was 15. I worked there for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I got fired because I forgot to cut the friggin' pizzas. And his excuse for that was, nobody told me I had to cut the pizzas. Okay, first of all, they didn't tell me that I had to cut the pizzas. You box them up and send them out. Send them out. I wanted them to have a really nice surprise when they opened the box. Mmm, pizza sounds so good right now. I know it does. Where do you see us in 10 years? Okay, so 10 years from now, you'll be 30 or 42. Oh my God, yeah, I was gonna say 32 also, but no, 42. 42. Um, so in 10 years, I would imagine that we will be in a new house. It'll be a historic home or a new home that was built to look old. 
it'll either be in like a historic district of some town, maybe this town, I don't know, or it'll be on the land that we bought. Potentially, we'll still have some of our fur babies. Some of their life expectancy is won't be horrible to think long about. Enough for that, I don't think Aspen oh and Ellie, my gosh. and maybe Jolie won't be around. That's so um, sad. Alistair will still be here, and maybe Meryl. Um, I'm about to start. And crying. unfortunately, the goat. I don't know the goat. That the goat would still be here. Why uh, do you have to bring up those horrible uh, things? I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Oh um, and then, uh, did I say possibly kids? You have not mentioned that. I was waiting for you to say Possibly that. Possibly kids. I would say we may have a vacation home somewhere that we also VRBO and Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. That's probably still renovating homes. Sounds good to me. Maybe have a wedding venue. And by maybe, we're going to have a wedding venue with some cottages and that's that. Okay. Yep. My turn. Oh, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, I'm going to ask you the same question. Where do you see us in 10 years? Okay, I see us with three to four kids and probably not living in this house, like you said. And hopefully by then the business is up and running. Yeah. And yeah, I, I expect us to be like settled into dad life and just raising a family. I agree. I think... That all sounds good to me. All right, your turn. <laughs> before we started dating, did you ever fantasize about me? Uh, before we started dating? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. What the hell? Yeah, I don't think so. PJ. I mean, we fantasize about you. Yeah. But you didn't really like know me. I didn't I didn't really know you. For and you were younger. Year. So no, I did not fantasize about you. Here is another juicy one. What do you miss most about being a bachelor? Um I would probably say and this is so not a big deal, not a very important detail, but I miss making design decisions that only I want to do. Because there's some stuff that we don't agree on, and I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I don't like think... Like our current state of our house. Right. We we rearranged some rooms in our house, and he's not on board, and I am, and so... I finally felt like our house was finished, almost, and two days ago, he completely changed every room in the house, because we got four new chairs. Four new chairs ruined the entire house. Ruined. We're ruined. in our formal living room or what used to be our formal living room. Dining room. Dining room. And our table for this is upstairs in the landing. Yeah. Taking up the whole room. We haven't moved it yet. We have to push it against the I wall. miss, I also miss that about being a bachelor. <laughs> all right, your time. All right, so. All right, here's a juicy one. Very juicy. If you had to name my package, what would you call it? <laughs> um, I would call your package, uh, uh, I would call it Little Miss Ming. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. The three Little Miss and then Mimi, the three worst names. Um, I would call it, um, Mm. Scrumptious delight. <laughs> scrumptious delight. You would call any package scrumptious delight. <laughs> true, that's true. Okay, so that's a good question, and I think it should be our last question, but we okay. can't end it without you also naming my package. I would name it... I would name it... Um... Crawl the warrior king. That you know that's wrong. Yes, okay, now um, how about Pitbull? Pitbull? Mm-hmm. Why? It reminds me of a pit bull. That's weird. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> why? I'm not gonna get into why. <laughs> when I think of a pit bull, I don't think of anything pleasant. <gasps> that's sad. They have a bad reputation. Hmm. But they're vicious, and they and tear you apart. They're strong, and 
<laughs> That's enough. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We tried to keep it PG, as you can see. So it kind of dipped into PG-13, which yeah. we don't normally do that. That's okay. This is a fun one. Yeah. So that's that. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and tell us down below in the comments what you want to see next. Until next time, I'll go bye. Bye, y'all.